that we talk pr probably every other day. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just pick each other's brains. You know, like we're not, you know, the, not too scared to talk about our, you know, our feelings on how to play the game or systems. I mean, I don't talk to many coaches around, trust me, around the league, but uh, Chief, I have no problem talking and vice versa. That goes back a ways, right? With you guys? Yeah, I mean, we're roommates and stuff, but you know, I learned like, during the, when they won the Stanley Cup, um, actually, Chief talked to me quite a bit, and just I was picking his brain. It was, and it was, it was enjoyable being a, a, a fan, and also a guy trying to learn and just listen to Chief what he was doing during that Stanley Cup run. So, you know, I appreciate the, you know, the uh, insight he was giving me. It really helped. What stood out to you more than anything? Uh, Chief's. I don't think people realize he's a really good X and O's guy. Obviously, he's. He's. I think he's a great communicator and. Uh, He's a type of guy that uh, you know. There's no nonsense. Players understand that, and uh, and he he gets the most out of a lot of guys. I, I really feel. Um, so, you know, for me today's coach, it's a partnership. You know, you got to be a partnership, and I think that Chiefs realized over the years you got you got to include the players in a lot of decisions. Um, but the players know who's boss at the end of the day. How are things going for you guys? You guys played very well since you've been here. Yeah, the guys are playing. I mean, I I think the. They're buying into the, what we're preaching. I mean, I got a great staff. I mean, the, the, like I mean, I got Sergi, Sergi Gonchar, Adam Foot. I got the the twins. You know, Henrik and Daniel City. They they've, I mean, they're there every day when when I when I need them. So they're around. Um, I got a great skills coach, uh, Yogi. Like I, I got, uh, I'm, I'm lying. I will be lying to tell you it's all me. It's not me. I have a great staff. And uh, Yo, was this, this the first time you oh, worked Mike, with them? Mike Yo, uh, sorry, uh, they were and Mike Yo and. Uh, and Jason King, um, they were left over last half, and they've been terrific. Like they've really helped. Actually, Mike Yo's really helped with the PK because it was obviously a sore spot in this kind of the organization. And uh, the last month, we've kind of turned around. So he's been a big part of that. We really scored ten shorthanded goals in the last eighteen games. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. I remember in Arizona, we had a run. Brad Richardson, Grabner, Derek Stepan. We had. I, I want to. I, I got to check similar stuff. There was one week where we had like six or seven. That it just, it, you know, things go your way, right? You block a shot and it comes on your stick. You get a breakaway. So, um, yeah, it's it's been. Hey, listen, it's been system stuff, but it's been a lot of just fortunate stuff too. And guys are scoring goals, so you got to give them a credit. You like about Dakota Joshua? Well, I'll tell you what. I when I got here, you know, I just knew something. You know, we this organization needs big wall guys and we don't really have a lot and when I saw him gave him a run responsibility um, big part of our PK now he's a, he's becoming a finisher he's, he's, he's getting some chances he's finishing I think Sky's there's another level there um, and we're lucky we have another year and I told him if he plays a big a big man's game give and go type of style he'll pay the mortgage for you know, a bunch of a bunch of years here you know he can do that so um, but you know, and, and Josh knows for me is consistency. If he can stay consistent, that's that's probably his next level. Is you know a couple of good games and not so much. Uh, now he's starting to string two, three, four games together, and I think that's a big key for him. Give him a run with Pedersen tonight, I guess. Or? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, put him against Chicago, and uh, you know we it kind of turned around the third period for us. So just to get him, get Pete some guys, I'll get some pucks for him. How's Ronick been for you? I, I really good. I thought. I, I think the last game he hit the wall. Of he's three and four. He's been out for six weeks, but he's really added a lot of uh, puck movement ability. He's not spent as much time on our own end. You know, a good first pass defenseman. Those are those are hard to find. You know, a lot of a lot of teams have really good four checks now, and if you can have that guy can make that one pass to beat two guys, that's a luxury. Did you like the studio work? Did the studio work? Yeah, I loved it. Get to work with uh, DP here. <laughs> he, he give you some tips, or no? yeah, he actually did. No, he's being humble. Yeah, he did. Him and Keith Jones were really a, a big part. It's a tough business, you guys know. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. Uh, how about the Blues? Uh, they're kind of an unfamiliar position. What are you What are you seeing from them this year? You know, I, I think they're in a you know uh, in a position of evaluating where they're at. I mean, they won a cup what two, three, four years ago. They had an identity, and. Um, to me, the Blues over the years, they've always had an identity. That's why they're, they're always successful, you know, um, and I think they're finding their way again. You know, they got some young guys coming in, they're high level guys, and uh, it's just a matter of time before they start getting back on, uh, on the other side of the standings, I think, personally.
you're in a position, obviously, that they're in as well, you know, yeah. looking towards the future. And, and Chief always has preached to us about, you know, we're still coaching the win now. Are you, are you in a similar position? Yeah, I mean, way? listen, you know, these teams have been, you know, this team won a cup. They almost beat Colorado when other teams had a tough time. So they're going through a little transition, but we're in a little bit different. You know, we this organization hasn't won in a long time. Um, you know, we're trying to find our way, so uh, trying to find some culture stuff. So. so, yeah, I mean, similar in that respect that, you know, how many games are left? Eight. We kind of take the approach of, uh, you know, hey, let's get a good draft pick and let's milk it. We just can't. And uh, we have to set a culture. And we're just set up for next year, you know, as much as every game is important to us. And that's why you guys are, you know, playing hard for us right now. Generational talent. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing.